Everyone wants to know, who are these guys? How did they get here? And just what are they like behind the scenes? So we're going to give you a look at the making of the world's sexiest calendar. Well, you'll really get to know these great guys and the crew. On his left leg too, spray him, I gotta see the water. Right there, beautiful. Have a seat here. We have to just make sure that it doesn't look like a, a fashion calendar. I mean, that's not really what it's about. I think on a cover you want some certain sex appeal. I mean, we're selling some kind of, some dreams and fantasy here. Oh, that's a great That's a wonderful wow. shot. Pretty wild. Yeah. Don't think for one minute that these models were chosen for their bodies alone. <laughs> Looks and personality counted a lot. I think that we, we liked Chris Brazell, is that right? For sure. You want to go to bed great body. Got a great body. Great body. Great body. I like him. He's well, gorgeous. He's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. <laughs> <Great time>. <laughs> <laughs> January, February, March, January, February. These guys are all confirmed. The next all important word was location. Now the challenge to the photographer and crew Kevin, was first. to come up with places where the models could really be themselves. So I got the bike and I started riding and I just do it more for a workout and for my own peace of mind. It's nice, for like two hours you can get completely out of the city, you're up in the mountains, fresh air. Good, take another step, one, two, three, squeeze, walk, good. Steer toward me a little bit, good. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah! I think just be organic with what you're doing. You know, if, if you have to do a shot where you're happy and you're smiling, then to really be happy and be smiling, you know, think something that makes you happy. If, uh, if they want something kind of like sexual, then kind of look at the camera like it is your girlfriend or something like that and try to have those feelings for the camera while you're doing it. Look at me, that's beautiful. Yeah, cool. Pump, it's hard. Work it, work it. Let's go. Yeah, up that hill. I think we're gonna do a couple this way with the sun at your back and then I'm gonna take you under that bridge so I can get some light kind of intensifying your eyes and just work on some features. Can I borrow your shoes? <laughs> For me a little more, good, perfect. Yeah, eyes at me. Hold it, one, two, three, good. I think 10 years from now, when you look back at this calendar, you will get a sense of the fact that it was a 1996 calendar, and this is what people were doing at that time, but some of it is timeless. Some of the things that guys have been rock climbing for a long time, and way back when, and they'll be doing it for a while. It's a good thing these guys are doing a lot of what they love, because some of it was really hard work. I think it's great, especially being able to shoot something that I enjoy doing. Uh, the rock climbing bit, getting that shot, it's great. And uh, hey, you know, Cosmic Calendar, I, I can dig that. Little smile, these are beautiful. Great eyes, Hank. Good, nice. Bite down on your jaw, really sexy, right in the lens. Come on. There it is, man. I think he has a real adventurous spirit. You can tell. He's really like sliced and wanted cliffhanger. He just has, um, he's a real thrill seeker. And, and that comes across, I think, in the yeah. pictures. He's willing, to, he's willing to do anything. You can't pose these shots, and you can't pick a guy to do something like this just from looking at their book, because you gotta, you gotta get them out there, and you gotta know this is what they do, and this is what they love, because that's what's gonna work in the calendar. Good. Okay. Don't Looks move. like okay. this guy was a lot Ready? safer than our photographer at this moment. Is it hard to shoot? You've got someone holding on to you. To me? You gotta trust your assistant. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get so into the shot that you forget that about. That you forget it. the yeah. fact you're hanging over a cliff. Yeah. You do. Have you shot like this before? Not exactly this, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing it now. You really are. Twist your shoulders toward me. This is so cool. Oh my God, this is so hot. Good, right there, don't move. Twist your shoulders toward me a little more. Okay, relax. It was all in a day's work. 
Hey, what's for lunch, guys? Where do you want to go? Halfway through day number one, and I feel great. I mean, this morning, I think we were all a little nervous about the weather. We've got a beautiful day. Thank you, sun god. <laughs> At other times, things just got a little uncomfortable. Please forward me a little bit more. Eyes of me. Beautiful. Let's get the water just going over you, playing. You get to hold the ball. Really work it. Let's really get, get sexy with it. It's great. I like to shoot. I mean, it's outdoors. Um, actually, we have a river here. Uh, the feelings are good. I mean, it brings back memories of home. You know, on the farm. Good, good, great, beautiful. Yeah, that was hot. Beautiful. I just look at hot. But there it was, another flawless shot. Right now, it's about what four o'clock. We're driving out in the middle of the desert. We're trying to find a good location so I can go sprint up this road here and uh, show my little thing and running. And um. Everybody's a little tired right now, but uh, we're almost done. Everybody's making it and having fun still. It's a hot babe running towards you, man. She's running. Chin up. Okay. More water. We need a fuller water. We have a water, full water. I want it to feel good, man. That's it. You're for it down there. Oh, yeah. Look at me. Chin down. You right now, I probably run only about 20 miles a week. And uh, that's, like I said, just for peace of mind and workout. But when I was in the military, you know, I was up to about 50, 60 miles a week. Really into it, but not competitive, just for myself. As the sun began to sink, the pressure was on to get that last great shot. Great. The action couldn't let up. Ah! Beautiful. Woo! Hold that, don't move. One more fun. Yeah, smiling. Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah, man. My favorite part of the day would either be it in the morning when the sun comes up, um, you're fresh, you're ready to go work out, get stuff done during the day, or like now when the sun's setting. It's a lot more calmer and uh, just sit back, relax, think about things. Beautiful, yeah, that's great, hot. Good, that's great, just right there, that's beautiful. Don't the photographer, I love working with him and everybody's really enjoyable on the crew. Shoulders toward me a little more, good. Play with it, point to me with him, like, hey, babe, come on, yeah, there it is, yeah. Yeah, man. You nailed it, you did, woo! <laughs> it was great, too. that was cool. Yeah, we're done. Do some more. Let's see how the photographer feels at the end of the day when he's got two guys to shoot in a half an hour and the sun is coming down. How do you feel? <laughs> well, now I feel relieved. <laughs> we're done. The tension was building. <laughs> Pressure oh. was on. We better get back. <laughs> what I plan to do here is um, we've got the boxing gym here. Let me show you. Come over here. Come on. We can bring the guys up in the boxing ring and we can just make use of the facility and we have a boxer. I want him to get into the moment, what it feels like after he's been fighting. You know, maybe he'll sit down, he'll feel it. You know, I, I want him to feel comfortable. Maybe I'll have him just kind of hop around in the ring a little bit. Um, then I think we'll come over this way and we've got these, uh, can you keep up? I'm on my way. We move quick on these things. See, it's all fake. We got two pairs of boxing shorts. I kind of like the red better because I think it's a little bit more color. It looks, it looks authentic. It, it pops. I think this is great. You like what about her shoes? Where's the guy here? Phil, is it? Richard? Is Phil here? Huh? Is Phil here? Phil. But we need boxing shoes. White yeah, shirt, black and white yeah. on. All right. Okay? okay? And then we'll do the shoes. Very boxing though, does it? No, I might want to do it hanging like over it? the edge yeah, here, you know, more kind of like a you know hanging over shot. What, what do you think? think? I like those. I think you know, I think I like these. I think why don't we do some with these? And I also like the the boxing shorts. What about the red, white, and blue? Did you bring your Rocky shorts? Yeah. The red, white, and blue ones. <laughs> Let me see them. Well, let's see them. Let's see them. Yeah. All right. Let's see what they look like. Yeah. Let's do a change. Let's check it out. It might be great. You never know. It might be too editorial, but with I, the red white, with the red white, I think this things, is, I think it's adorable. I think we should use the black and white stuff in studio later, and I think we should use this stuff here. I think, I think the black and white looks. I think the black one looks. I like the red better. Let's start with the red though. Let's start with the red. I agree. Great. Look up at me. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. 
Now, when I'm shooting, I feel it. That is amazing. Good. That's it's great. something from That's here good. as an artist. You feel it. You make good. that connection. It's there. Look at me. And Crunch. boom, you got it. Put your head over. Come down quick. Like that. She looks I keep saying it's like you see this girl across the bar and you're trying to make eye contact and pick her up. <laughs> you're working it, bud. Yeah. Great. Look up at me. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Chase has only been working, I think, about four months. Thank you. Which is nice, I mean, because you can see how he's kind of learning it and doing it and working it at the same time. Yeah. But he knows it. You can tell this guy has just got like that sex appeal that plays to people. I was in eighth grade. One of my best friends he was a freshman, and he was a boxer, and he got me into it. I can't and, talk uh, right and I used to go watch him fight. Sorry. Right here. After that, I just got into it and uh, started competing and going to the. Uh, okay. We gotta move shows. fast, Max. Tim, let's go. go quick, quick. Give me the pull right back. As we said, line them up and shoot them. Tracy is a wrap, and now it's on to Gary. Excellent. Good. Good, really work it with me now. Leaning forward and backward, kind of coming at me. A little smirk, come on. My um, job on the set is to make sure that the pictures are Cosmo style. There are certain things that we like in pictures. We like a natural feeling. And we like also clothes that have a little bit of color but that are sexy as well. Cosmo is a wonderful magazine and uh, it's an honor, you know, because so many people would really like to be involved with something like this. and and. Just to be part of it makes me feel good and it makes me feel like I've uh, reached some form of accomplishment in my career over the years and therefore that's pretty gratifying. I, I think it's great. Halfway through day two, the crew moved to the studio. Very sexy. Huh? No, we have to take them out. No, we have to slide take all that stuff off, so you'll have to or else we have to take, take it off. Take what off? Your underwear. I mean, not now, but... Why don't we just... Why don't we just... Tuck your underwear down so you don't see it. Okay, it's fine. Or, you know what? What about that white thing that you have? Just no underwear. The white stripe. Right here. With that match that you've got in place. Just wing it. Just wing it. Just wing it. Just wing it. It's so... There's sunlight today. We're inside. This is crazy. Every other day, no light. Los Angeles, California. Is that me? Do you hear that beep? Christy, what's the reading? 8 0, wrong way, other way. In this profession, people are, wor are used to working with different people every day. You have to be sort of friendly, and, and um, there's a spirit of camaraderie um, grows almost immediately. Everybody has a common goal. We want to get the best picture possible, and everyone d really works hard to make that happen. All right, let's go to film. <clears throat> let's go to film. I feel lucky. Turn your head toward me more. Beautiful. Good. Good. Swinging and turning. Yeah, work it. Photography is a lot different than like um, video or commercial or whatever. It's a lot with the lighting and what the photographer does. He's the one that really um, is the creator. You know, I'm I'm there to listen to him and see what he wants, and I will do the best I can to portray whatever he, you know, so desires. At first, I, it was very difficult to be really comfortable. When, you're, when you stand up in a studio and say there's 15, 20 people standing there looking at you and you're like on stage and it's, it is an uncomfortable feeling at first, but uh, you know, with the benefits involved in it and, and what you're trying to do, you just, you have to, just like in any other type of business or, or in athletics or whatever, you focus you know, on what it is, and you try to shut out everything else. We're going to have a ladder, and we're going to dump water on the guys. The crop is going to be such that all you see is background, and uh, you won't catch the pool underneath the guy. It's kind of a trick of the trade, you know? Just do that exact position, okay? Pour water down him while he's doing that. Lean back a little bit, bend your knees back. Good, just like that. Freeze it, hold it. One, hold on. You're doing great, buddy. Good, hold it, hold it, hold it, don't move. Okay, one, two, three. Good, slow pour, slow. Poor, good, beautiful.
Up your arm, good. Okay, take a break. He's out. It's freezing. <laughs> we didn't get warm water here. It's kind of, uh, you know, winter in LA. It's all every bit of 65 degrees. And uh, get a little water poured on me today. You know, another day at work. Good job, buddy. Really good. That is cold. Thank you. Cosmo Woman is someone who loves men but doesn't want to live through them. She has her own life, her own interest, and men, is a, men are a very important part of her life, but there's other aspects to her as well. The Cosmo Man would have to be a very sexy man. Um, someone that's got a very good body, obviously, but he's also got a little more intelligence. You're really looking for certain qualities in a man, and, and so much of it is the obvious, that he's gorgeous and that he's, he's got a you know, very sexy look and an athletic body and different things like that. But every man has something different that makes them sexy, and you've got to find that. And some of them, it's the eyes, and some of them, it's the way they hold themselves, and some of them, it's, it's their smile or something like that. You grow up with the stereotype that good-looking men are shallow and, and stupid and very arrogant and self-centered. And In the shadow. I think with working with these men, it's, it's only shown me that um, they actually, they're very nice people. They have a lot of depth. They've had a lot of experience in life. With, I guess because of their jobs, they do have much wider interest in things and they tend to be more into health and fitness and much more adventurous. Calendars take a long time from conception to the time they get to the market. Um, the, the idea when we decided to do a 96 calendar was probably eight months ago. The actual real work began about three months ago. And what, the way it started is we choose a photographer because that's the most important thing. A little bit. Uh huh. Good. It's been fun creating the whole thing and overseeing it. It's really interesting being a makeup artist and working with Richard yes, Ryan. Yeah, look up there, your forehead. It seems yeah, like over. every single shot that I've look ever done with him, any shoot anywhere, good. is the shoot from hell. Excellent. The man <sighs> gets the best shots in the world, but good. as a makeup artist, you have to work twice as hard as any other shot in the world. You know I mean, okay. you have to what? stay in One shape to shoot Richard. Richard. <laughs> Sindra Dunn, she's wonderful. She, um, She'll climb anywhere, go anywhere, and is right on top of the model, making sure that at all times the hair is right, the, you know, and that there's there's not too much shine or anything. You know, it's really important. It has to, if the guy needs a haircut, like today, you, cut you Brian's hair right on the spot. And both of them just drop their chins to the floor. It's like, and they're like, oh my God, who is this they, guy? They said, like, where's that bum worked out at? <laughs> yeah. He must, he must get a free it's membership. Just, it's so funny because Somebody feels sorry how, for him. Totally different attitude but you had the ladies going. With men, you, you have to concentrate on keeping them very natural and um, keeping them looking like they don't have anything on. It's, there's basically, I, I think, the best way to look at men is, is to not do them. I try to come as prepared as possible. I bring eye drops and, um, you know, Visine is my friend. And, um, of course, water bottle to make them look like they're sweating because they sweat in the wrong spots, of course, for a picture. And uh, paper towels, mousse, um, hairspray, lip gloss if they get dry lips, um, powder if they want them to look like they want them dried off. This is definitely different. It's uh, much more adventurous and um, much more than I ever expected. I, didn't, I had no idea we'd be climbing rocks, but I'm actually enjoying it very much. It's very cool. You've got to admit, it's the perfect way to get to know these guys. My name's Helen, and I'm the um, clothing stylist for the shoot. Basically, dress all the guys, get all the clothes for them, and decide what they're going to wear and the image that they're going to have. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Not about those. But for that, that's fine. For that, that is fine. He looks fine. That's great. Let the hair just go. It's great. Helen's wonderful. Helen, um, 
Helen, let's change the shirt, let's change the pants, she's there. All these people are really crucial and really important and really work hard. You never really meet the model until the day. You may have seen a picture, you obviously will have got his measurements to make sure that you think it's going to fit him, but with experience, I know pretty much how it's going to fit on him and how it will look. And having seen his face, his colouring is all I need to know. And some girls do seem to have more fun than others. Right, Helen? You might then see a black car in the car. You did a great job. <laughs> so I'm saying, excuse me, put my hands down your trousers. My new friend. My job is to make sure that every area of the garment is looking good, and invariably, in a situation like this, when all the guys are wearing shorts, it means I'm concentrating frequently on that area. It's all part of the job. Totally professionalism, nothing personal. The guys don't seem to mind. Then there's the story of our starry-eyed Cosmo contest winner. Cosmo, nice Please to meet you. you. Hi, Shannon. Yeah. How are you? Great to meet you. you. Nice to, nice to see the final face. Yeah, hi, Shannon. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Good. Really good. We're shooting in a boxing gym this morning. Okay. And this afternoon, we're going to be shooting in a studio. We're just going to the contest was announced in our magazine last fall. We were looking for um, a guy, a real guy, that could will will appear on the calendar as one of the months. Um, we got thousands and thousands of entries from all over the United States. And what we were looking for was someone sexy, supportive, um, fun, and um, full of energy. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh my god, you know, and you did what? Cosmopolitan, what? You know, me and some magazine? And so then, she's, then we sent more pictures in, and I was still thinking, oh, come on, you know, all these guys. I'm like, you know, this is crazy. So then you called back, you won. I'm, oh, my, this is nuts. This is really crazy. So that was fun, though, you know. I was like, oh, that'd be fun. I wasn't shocked. I've never entered any contest ever, you know. It's, it's, it's race rules. Okay, Jim, let's get down to business. So how do you feel about winning this contest? That's nice. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah. Kind of flattering. Kind of blows you away, huh? <laughs> Ever thought you'd get into modeling? Never. I guess she knows what she's doing, you know? <laughs> she's the expert. <laughs> yeah, I've never worn makeup. <laughs> Except for some days in high school. No, I'm <laughs> I can tell he's excited, but he's a little nervous, too. He doesn't know. He's afraid he's going to be a big letdown, you know? He's, he doesn't want to let anyone down. Well, being as he's not a professional, um, I think it's just going to take a lot more attention and more time, and we're going to give him a crash course real quick. <laughs> I want you to take, take the weights, and I want you to walk into the situation, sit down on the bench, lay back, and just start doing some flies and work it. I want you to feel it. I don't want the, like you're really working out, okay? We'll get him up to speed. I'm not worried. Here, head back a little more. Slide your hand through here. Put the weight down there. Good, slide it through. Beautiful. Kind of come at it. Put your hands behind your head, like that. Just like that. Stretch back. Give me a smile. You're cracking up. Good, excellent. So just relax. Take it easy. Go down. Relax. Don't move. Squeeze. Good. Beautiful. The Cosmo man is outdoors. He's natural. And he's not styling in gel and are in high He's the guy next door. Yeah. <laughs> Chin up slightly. Good. Nice. That's it, yeah, just like that, crisscross the arms. Really flex the biceps now, squeeze it. Real serious, chin up, chin up, chin up. Good, 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 squeeze it. Sometimes it's gonna, it's gonna feel right and it's not gonna look right, and it feels a little strange, but you'll be used to the idea of just kind of going with what the photographer's saying, and if he says right. move your shoulders or you know, put your pelvis up or something like that, because right. he's gonna make your body look the best, so you have to trust the photographer. Yeah, that's Jim is very I nervous right now. Nice. He's never done anything like this ever before, and um, a lot of people have asked him if tighter. he, has Cross ever modeled tighter. and Good. he always you know Cross still blushes tighter. when people ask him that because Good. he just doesn't see himself as being a real, real hunky serious. guy Good. it's exciting it's a lot more work than i thought though <laughs> it looks so easy with those other guys doing it yeah you know? <laughs> i mean he's changing his boxers he's two color coordinated sorry oh there he is we'll take it step by step We'll start with just simple things. See how complicated we can just get. Watch. Ah, hot. Good. There's a little left. Good. Okay. Down at the floor. Bring your eyes to the end. See what happens when you clench your teeth is your jawline comes out. Clench them. See that bone? Chomp down. Let go. Relax. See? Punch, punch up. See? Excellent. Now keep your mouth closed. Lick your lips for me. Okay. Lean forward. Good. Beautiful. That's hot. Hands in your pocket, same position. 
for that, that is fine. He looks fine. That's great. Let the hair just go. It's great. It's great. Not too perfect. Let it go. Lean forward. Put your hands in your pockets. Coming out of the camera. Chin up a little. There it was. Another perfect shot. Well, what did you think really of your day, Jim? A lot of fun. More respect for him. A lot of, a lot of hard work. They make it fun, but a lot of hard work, a lot of concentration. Photographer's great. Never a dull moment. <laughs> yeah, Variety it's exciting. of a bunch of different things. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs>guys are um, they all have their own unique personality some of them are more outgoing other ones are shy and kind of you have to kind of go in there and bring out you know whatever there is and sometimes they change you know you get a little hungry and then um, they're one way and then you feed them and they're another you know shave and be a young boy again. Remember those days? <laughs> the joy of being a model. People tell you what to look like. So whose idea was the haircut for today? That was mine. I figured since I shaved and looked like a 12 year old, she might as well finish me off. And then to boot, I got my PJs on. They, they said to bring something you feel very sexy in. So I thought Speed Racer pajamas. Can't and it works. That. It works yeah, for me. I, yeah. Oh, gee. Shorts. Yeah, I can't it? shoot that. What? There's hair all over them. Well, maybe if they're put in the uh, ocean. I mean, in the lake. I'm more worried about it in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pink, as soon as you guys in, this little Yeah, I, Okay, I let's, let's do if it. If they don't, we'll uh, cancel Change. the shot and go right. home. Oh, I hate that. Woo! Okay, I'm over it. Richard, I would say, because of the, the personal friendship that we have, I mean, that, that makes it nicer in any field that you're in, whether you're modeling, that, whether you're a you know, bus driver, no matter what, you know, if you can get along with your coworkers or photographer in this uh, case, it makes it a lot nicer. I mean, we have fun, and I'm not gonna go to work if I'm not enjoying myself. Brian, make shapes for me. <laughs> there's one. Oh, there's the other. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's a bad combination. I'm not even going to comment this time. With the weather, it's been pretty hectic. But now that I'm here, I have some sunlight. I feel pretty good. But my stress level's like <laughs> peaking and going up and down. But I think overall, it's it's working out. I enjoy working with Richard because he is yeah, energetic yeah, sure. and he has fun. He's still a kid, you know. He just laughs and he's joking and he's playing around and it just makes you relax. You don't get stressed. You don't need like, oh god. You know, some photographers you gotta like satisfy them with like that pose. You know, you're trying to hit it and make to get some kind of like good response out of him. With him, he's like, yeah, that's great. Work it, you know. Scooter, that's a doggy girl. Hello, Scooter. Let's get Michael with a soccer ball. Very good idea. Thank you. I mean, I know if it's a ball, I can learn it. You know, I know I know how to play anything. Um, not like expert level course, because I, I don't have the training, but I can get in and do a good job. Even a puck. Give, give a puck to me, I'll shoot it. <laughs> Little smirk, little smile. One, two, three. Good. Chin up higher. Squeeze it hard. Good. One, two, three. All right. Put your other hand on the ball. Do the same thing. Out, one, two, three. Good, okay. Some of these guys were exceptionally cooperative. What do you want me in, my underwear? 
Want me to just down here? Yeah, I want to get the towel. Let's get the water. Well, we were just going to lunch and we were starving and sitting down and chowing and talking about how are we going to get a water shot this afternoon. We're out in the desert, but we really want to get Mark. He, he loves to swim. We want to do something in the water. And as we <laughs> left lunch, Mark says... <laughs> well, you know, um, we needed some money for the waitress because we didn't have enough money to tip her. And as you can see, take a long shot down here. Money, yeah. Look at all this change. So that's where they found me and... Uh, yeah, well, we this, is where the, this is where our photographer the was, thought the shot should be. The light be. was fantastic. It worked. Uh, it was beautiful. It worked. So we all hopped in. Waterfall picture. guys, see you later. <laughs> okay. My name is Mark Stevens, and this project started off as a little exercise in getting myself in a little better shape. Um, I keep myself in fair shape all the time, but I want to take myself to the next level. So I started dieting a little harder, working out a little more, then I met this photographer, Richard, who said, why not, let's do a photo shoot. One more, good. Mark's terrific. You know, he's not a model, and so that adds a certain naturalness to the way he moves. He also is really in touch and in tune with his body. He liked the photograph so much that he said, well, let's send them somewhere. I said, jokingly, go ahead, why not? And two days later, he said, well, you um, have been accepted by Cosmopolitan to be in the calendar. And that's where it all started. He knows how to move and, and has great muscle control. And um, I think that helps, especially for a lot of the, the uh, physical shots we were doing. On his left leg, too. Spray him. I got to see the water. Right there. Beautiful. Step out. OK, up. Squeeze the muscles. One, two, three. Head forward. Good. Beautiful. Roll it. Up position. Right in the lens. Look at me. Beautiful. Chin down. Eyes at me. Chin out. Good. Beautiful, good. In England, I used to swim competitively. I swam for the British Olympic team. I also trained and coached a lot of swimmers, and I wanted to take it a step further. And LA is really the center of fitness in the world. So I decided to come out here. I came out 10 years ago, as I said, and researched the market, and decided that personal training was where I had to start. I started charging five bucks an hour, and I had no clients. It's amazing. Now I can't charge $200 an hour because I have too many clients. And I managed to okay. you know, buy a house with that and open my own business and start this place. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Great. Did he mention he used to swim in the Olympics? He did, yeah. Well, at least get to watch him in the water. We know he won't drown, you know? Good. Bend your elbows a little more when you walk. Good. Beautiful. Nice. Hold back. Good. Good. Good job, man. You done? Yeah, good work. Yeah. Excellent. All right, it's going to look great. Basically, the Cosmo man is any man that the Cosmo girl finds attractive. He could be smart, he could be a Harvard professor, a doctor, a lawyer, he could be maybe the guy at the supermarket or the guy that pumps her gas. He could be tall or thin, shy or very outgoing or gregarious. It's just really anyone that she has an interest in. So we're selling a bit of a dream, and you know, you, you've seen everything we're shooting today. These guys are great looking, they have great bodies, they're very rugged and what's in them is coming out, and it's coming through their eyes, and that's what Richard's bringing out, and you've got to get that one picture, and you shoot so many to get that one shot of each guy 
that's selling to this girl who's looking at this just this unbelievably sexy guy, but who looks real. You don't want anything to look posed. Well, by now, maybe you have a favorite, but it wasn't real easy for our photographer. <sighs> Gotta drop off the film. <sighs> Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Dropping off? Yeah. Are you snipping or ready? Snipping everything. Gotta be super careful. Um, it's all here, everything. All the films. And these rolls. How long? So how many rolls total? Um, let's see. Two. I'll get a four, time for you. Six. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine rolls. Okay. Thank All you. Right, see you okay. Later. That's a lot of film to choose from. <laughs> this is the first shot. The first shot. Everyone was really tense. Kevin, you're first. We got, to the, we got to the desert. He got on his bike, started shooting. Just working nice and slow. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Kevin was just so well put together, his abs, his body, his expressions. He was just, he's really a pro. He worked real well. It just, he really came together. I mean, he just, you know. Every, and, and of course, yeah, everyone beautiful. was like, wow, yeah. Slowly, good, good. The movement worked out real well with him pedaling on the bikes. and. I think that really established the fact that we were going to go for energy here. We weren't going to go for this stagnant, standing there stuff. Go do it again. And then here, we, we pulled to the side of the road. It doesn't look like a long, a long walk over there. And these two guys, they, they, were like, they were like, let's go, let's go, let's shoot, let's go. You know, and it was like, um, we were just, I was just on, in this zone. Yes, yes. I'm just shooting, shooting, shooting. Yeah, there you go. OK, one, two, three. And I just remember. Um, those guys hitting, and then um, they'd hit the positions. It just seemed to work like clockwork. Oh, yeah, man. OK, reload. Here we got Hank over some rocks. There it is, man. He was pretty incredible. He went out and got all the gear and everything and brought it to the yeah. shoot and yeah, climbed up. And body position-wise, I think we're talking good here. Are you above, are you above here. him right here? I'm above him. I'm being, and Tim was holding me by my belt buckle. I was leaning over him. I got to go out further. And um, I swear to God, I felt like I, my heart was going to skip a beat. Every time I was falling forward, it was like, Tim, you got me, right? You got me. It was like, I'm looking down, seeing these rocks here. Chin up a little higher. One, two, three. Right at me. Squeeze it. And um, I'm thinking, OK, I do not want to fall on those. Because <laughs> he's got the, the rope you know, connected to him. I had nothing, so. Yeah. Doug Petrich. Nice. Yeah. Are you shut Doug? Yeah, I shot, shot Doug. Doug. Yeah. That's great, man. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. He looks real happy there. Happy? Yeah, I think I think happy would be the emotion I, I get from that. That's actually the best. It's very, yeah. Yeah, no, actually, in all seriousness, that is really good. Well, I think we've just, I think this one's a winner here, definitely. Right that, there. Yeah. That's definitely. It's the most relaxed. Yeah, for I mean, sure. They, we did some great shots from the pool hall. Do we have those? The pool hall? The yeah, pool hall of Doug. Let's see the pool hall of Doug. So we took him out of the studio. And also we took him out of the studio environment and we shot him in a in the pool hall with um, kind of more of an environment where he could be real. Man, this is it. It's, yeah. uh, I think that that's I think that we got some good ones the, here. The, the... I think he became more alive here. He felt more in an environment. I think we got some good ones on this roll. I'm excited about this. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Now here's Gary. This is at the boxing gym. He's doing the jump rope. Look at me, a little smirk. He's playing with the, the jump rope. There it is. Good. The authentic boxing rink, you can see the gloves and all that. I think this lended into it being a nice background. I mean, he's it's the jumping rope. We had him jump some rope to work up a sweat and then, you know, went with a rope. And, you know, he's hanging out and um, he was having fun. Do we, want we have more pool stuff? Ah, well, no, wait, wait. Uh, 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 wait, wait. We got the guy in the duck shorts with the ducks. This is Chris. Good. Nice, that's great. Chris is a really nice guy, and he Must came, we, we, we came up with this idea. <laughs> Must have been really fun. <laughs> we just see we have the, the pool, and it's sudsing over with little bubbles. Is this when you were screaming and yelling, assistance, I want your goddamn You know what? Actually, I like. More suds, more suds. Seriously, I yeah, like. Yeah, the guys had to suds up the bath. It was pretty, it was pretty I wild. I like this stuff a lot. Yeah, I like this, really too. Fun. I think it's fun. I think it's real. Perfect. I like them. You want to know who my favorite is? I can't say that. I love them all. They're great. They're fun. They're funny. They're serious. I mean, we've got such a great group of guys, and it's fun getting to know them more. So I won't say who my favorite is. See who ends up on the cover. <laughs> Well, we don't know if Mark is really Lisa's favorite, but he is our cover.
on behalf of all the men and women in front of the camera and behind it. We hope you've enjoyed the results of a lot of hard work. Looking at these pictures again, we think we've got a winner.